and tired. Morning, welcome to the first of our Japan. Japan. Welcome to the first day of our Japan. Oh my god. Welcome to the first day of our Japan vlogs. This is actually our second day here. We arrived yesterday and travelled straight out to Kyoto and had a really nice dinner at a vegetarian friendly restaurant. Um, we had seitan, which mm -hmm. I didn't think we were going to have in Japan. And I didn't think that would be our first meal either. It was really good. And now it's day two and it's 7am and we are at a temple that I don't know the name of, but now Craig's going to explain what it is. Kaizu Misadera. But I don't know anything about it. And we're here early because this one apparently gets really busy. So we we'd we get it checked off first. No, don't pick it up. <laughs> they used to throw people off here for like trials. To see if you when? were guilty or not. Like, I don't know, like 30 or 100, or maybe even earlier than that. It's like 14 stories high, and if you landed at the bottom without hurting yourself, then you, then you were, then you were okay. You weren't guilty. You were a top boy. My favourite thing about this place so far is the smell. It smells like fresh wood and pine, and incense. Mmm. News flash. He's wrong again. It was actually over there. That's where they threw you off. My little zuki bean. I can't believe a bird would just sit there for that long and just let you draw it. So we went and walked around Kaya Misadera and it was very, very nice. Holly hated every minute of it. No, um, I like that heron. Oh, we drew a heron and then it shat everywhere. Um, but we watched it get its breakfast. Uh, and now we are walking up to Kodaji Temple, which is another very, very big and famous temple in Kyoto. So we're going to go and have a look and see what that's like. We just had lunch at a sober restaurant. It was very good, but we didn't really know what we were eating. But we didn't order any meat, and there was definitely no meat on it. But we don't know because we can't read Japanese, and Google Translate's terrible. <laughs> so we've been to a load of temples, and now we're going to go to the philosopher's path we're going to walk up that for about 20 minutes we've got some onigiri that we just got as well from a recommended place so we've got a green miso onion uh, pickled plum so we're going to eat those the bloke in there was he was nice but he was very forceful and was he well no i, th I think we just got him at a busy time <laughs> so let's get it popping hogwin yeah filming today because for the first time in my life I have jet lag and 
it's making it hard for me to do normal things. And talk. <laughs> and talk. And be nice to people. And just exist in the modern world. So, um, after the temple, we finished about three o'clock and then we went back to the hotel, to the hostel and napped for like three hours and now we're back out to go to a vegan restaurant called... Mama to Mama Teki. Mama to Teki. Um, I can't pronounce anything. Which yet. looks really good, so let's go do it. Here's the menu and they say where there's fish stock used so in quite a lot of these dishes but this one it looks ridiculously good it looks good and it looks promising no egg no fish stock also i didn't really realize that seitan was a thing here but this is like a gluten deep fried gluten cutlet so that must be seitan yeah yeah, yeah. i didn't know they had that in japan oh, yeah. so holly's got her ramen and it looks ridiculously good um, and I think tradition states that you've got to try the broth first haven't you and then you season it however you want mm. they're good it's right, you can go in front of it it's alive <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be fucked up. Yeah. Quickly hijacking your YouTube channel, Holly. Oh, it's bad, isn't it? Yeah. Oh god. What do I have to do? Do I have to bring it's it over here? Oh, yeah. uh, let's bring it over here then. And then Holly's doing her makeup here. Mm. Hey. She's painting all the time. So today we are going to go to Arashiyama, which is like the northwest of. Kyoto and we're going to go see the bamboo groves, some zen gardens. We're going to try and go for lunch in the temple up there and then hopefully by that time we'll be so tired from jet lag that we can come back here for a nap. After that we might go back to Higashiyama, go around that little shopping district down there. That looks like the plan for today. If it's shit we'll let you know. I'm tired. <laughs> bus all the way from our hostel and now we are at Ashiyama and we're gonna go look at some bamboo. Holly's gonna try and eat it because she's a panda. Because she's tired and got bags under her eyes. Oh <laughs> but it should be very peaceful here and very nice. And we came early so hopefully it does look nice. It's not too busy. Alright let's see what we can find then. Talking about being the first ones in. Where are we, Craig? Uh, Okochi Sanjo's house. I was a film star back in the day. And he spent 30 years doing up his gaff. And he made some really nice gardens around here. But he's dead, so he, he won't be able to show you around it. The gardens are really nice. And we're the only people in here at the moment, so we might as well explore it. Yeah, let's go. Because, let's face it, the hordes are probably coming soon. But once again, we've got up and nailed it. Early doors. Best bit of advice I saw on YouTube. Yeah. Get up and get out. Get some little breakfast items and get out. We've kind of set, tried to set our body clock so that we go to bed about nine, wake up about six, five, six. We've, we've got about our five birthdays, haven't we, so far? Yeah. Okay, see you later. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling more zen than I did in the other places. Yeah. What we got here, Hogwin? Wow, that's the uh, that's the toilet. You used to have to come all that way for a poo or a little bathhouse or something. This is a moss paradise. How do you feel about the moss paradise? Yeah, I'm enjoying the moss a lot more today. It's a bit more lush, isn't it? Certainly very beautiful. The moss is good too. <laughs> Here he is. 
looking very dapper. Those glasses. Whoa. Oh. I'm very jealous. Oh, we've done Okachi's house. Real. It's a beautiful little place at the top where he's kind of framed overlooking Kyoto. It's amazing. And we did it all without seeing a person, so this has been spot we on. We were the first ones. We're now going to go to Temuji Temple. We're and going there for a specific reason other than the temple. We're going to go to the place where they serve the shoy, shoyrin, like vegan meal. So we're going to get a massive tray of food. This is a plant based meal. Yeah. Look at them little mushrooms. What's that little brain thing? It's a walnut. Oh, walnut? Like pickle walnut. Mm, I like this thing. <laughs> what is it? Like a mushroom kind of agar. Like a jellied mushroom. So this is fried bread dough. This is the restaurant we were just at. Mm. It's uh, a little bun with the bean paste in it. Actually, no, I do like it. Bread and beans. Sweet. Beans on toast. We just arrived back into central Kyoto. We had an amazing lunch and it was all plant-based and delicious, wasn't it? You loved it. It was very good. Mm -hmm. It's like Buddhism vegan food. It was very, very good. Yeah, we found out about it through watching a YouTube video, so there was lots of it. It kept coming, didn't it? It was mm -hmm. very good. And it's actually, to be fair, it was that's one of the most expensive meal we've had since we've been here. Yeah. But the food's been really, really cheap. We um, made a few mistakes though, so far, with food. Got these crisps, and we looked at all the ingredients, and it seemed fine, but we didn't really look properly because they actually had gelatin in them. There's like lots. We usually look for things like milk or like chicken powder or fish powder or something in crisps but then you wouldn't think there'd be gelatin so we're trying hard and google translate use all right. the google translate and check more than That's right. <laughs> We're about to go for dinner at Okushima Garden. Uh, going a la carte menu, not the strictly like 15 set menu because we did that earlier. And we want to vary it up and I quite fancy a veggie burger, you mm. know. Um, veggie burger. Veggie burger. So we've had some craft beer um, in a very nice venue and watched Casablanca with Japanese subtitles. We're very tired. And we're very tired. We think like we're going to faint every 15 seconds. I bought some jeans. The Hogwin got some jeans from Momokateki and they're very very nice so we'll show you what we order and that'll probably be the end of our night We just had the most delicious meal. We both had to start a calabrese salad. Which was ridiculous because the, the tofu was genuinely mozzarella. Mm. It was just tofu, but it tasted like mozzarella. And then I had 
A calamara. What? Calamara. <laughs> Carbonara. <laughs> I had, oh my god, whenever you are here, I can't speak the way I want to. Speak normal. I had a carbonara and it was really delicious and creamy. And Craig had an onion. Food and <laughs> Craig had a big bowl of onion. I don't know, I had a millet steak, it was very, very nice. And then we had some cake and some blueberry ice cream to finish with. And I think that's topped off a very good food day, a very good vision day, as in like what our eyes saw. Mm -hmm. um, experience day. I think every, like, yeah, I'm very happy with today. Yeah. We're so tired. Every day we are so tired. What time Maybe is it now? Maybe tomorrow like, will be a normal day. What time is it now? Nine, half nine. No. Oh, it's nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. We're gonna go we're straight gonna to bed. Straight to bed, and we'll see you tomorrow for a day in Nara. Nara. With the deer. Good morning. It's what time? Half six ish? Yeah, about that. We need to leave in a bit. It's half six, and we are up eating toast with jam. And Marjorie, we stole off the plane. And we're going to Nico on the train. No. Nope. On the bus. No. Nope. Walking. No. Nope. What other way is it? Nico's very far away. Nero. Cafe Nero. Where are we going? Nara. We're going to Nara on the train. Correct. Morning. So we're going to have a look at some deer and we're going to have a look at <coughs> some temples and stuff. And we're going to sweat lots because it's mm. very warm today. Holly, what are you most looking forward to seeing today? The deer. Are oh, you going to feed them a horrific amount of snacks? Yeah. They're going to be really bored by me. <laughs> Why so? I'm going to be a typical tourist. I really want to paint them. I bought my coloured watercolour paints today, so hopefully I'll be able to paint them if they're not too fast moving. And we're just going to have a genuinely good time, I think. So, we're nearly going to miss the but we won't because we're really good. Um, so, that's up. So we've spotted this. So, they're 100% wild animals. They bite, they kick, they burn, they knock down. Yeah. So we're gonna... Oh, yeah. tiny. We're gonna go to just a quick temple. We're gonna whip round. Then we're gonna come back through the park because we're not in it yet. This is the outskirts of the park. So we're gonna go into the park now, go do a temple, fling back on ourselves, get some biscuits, feed them take loads of videos, try and sit down and draw some. They just crossed the road on the crossings. They're going to eat my paper. They are going to eat your paper. <laughs> They're going to eat your hands as well, I think. Um, and then we're going to go to uh, Nagamichi, no, no, Naramichi, uh, which is like the old town. So like all the little streets and stuff. So we're going to go have a look at that. Okay. Oh yeah, there we go. It's a massive town. Ohayo gozaimasu. <laughs> Yeah. This is the big man approach Todaji temple big wooden structure. No tripods allowed. <laughs> Absolutely chucking it down. It's really actually quite beautiful. It's iced green tea because yeah. it's very hot and humid. I love it, it's rainy. I actually really like it. Mm. It actually makes me feel like it's a little bit more Japan. Yeah. Kind of like how if you came to the UK, you'd really want it to rain as well. Yeah. And it makes everything more luscious. Yeah. We've uh, walked ages to go to a vegan restaurant, uh, which was closed. So we happy cowed the, re uh, the next ones and found Onwa, which was probably one of the best places we've eaten so far by, by a long shot. 
um, the couple that owned it was super super polite English was really good um, the food was incredible what Spark was that dish called that you had? oh kariyagi which is it's usually like a fried chicken um, it tasted exactly like chicken it, it was so good like so good uh, and then they brought out loads of other little bits for us we had some sparkling sake sparkling sake made locally um, all the ingredients were fresh and local they were ridiculous so 100% um, recommendation if you're ever in Nara go to Onwa which is, is so so good um, we're now going to go back and feed biscuits to deer. We're going to do nibbly. You're our first deer. You're our first deer. I know, they're going to go in there. <laughs> Starts eating. Yeah, I know. Look, so look, look at the, the bowl like that. Bowl do it again. Like yeah. You the whole biscuit. Oh! <laughs> oh! I'd go up a little bit. <laughs> Got one more little bit. Oh, thank you. Eep, eep, eep. We are on the train back to Kyoto from Nara. And we've had an interesting day. The heat has been very oppressive. So you and got I can't. A, got a Bakari sweater. I got bitten on the head. Why is it going to be on the head? So I was hanging out with a deer. Some of the insects were hanging from coming around. Oh. Um, we have mixed feelings about Nara, especially the deer aspect, which I thought I was going to enjoy the most. But actually, they're kind of gross and stinky, and also they're a bit like crazed by human interaction and, and biscuits. And the biscuits smell kind of sweet, and it makes me wonder whether they're good for them or not. And they'll all have. It just seemed a bit humiliating for them to be like chasing humans around and bowing and it just wasn't the serene experience I thought it would be. Is serene a word? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. So we're, well we're, Molly felt a bit weird this morning, a bit ill. So, she stayed in bed and I've got up early and we're going to do Inari Shrine today so we're walking up here my face has gone really red so we're going to walk all the way to the top of the hill uh, and see what it looks like from up there Mm-hmm. 